Everyone's asking me about Jade Protocol and so should you. If you haven't looked into Jade Protocol yet, you're overlooking a lot now. This is gonna be one of the most comprehensive looks at why we doubted Jade Protocol, why I think it might've been a rug pull, and then some of the moves that the Jade Protocol team and the Smarter team and the Fair Launch or Fair Fork Foundation, the Fair Launch Foundation, have been doing in recent days to establish a lot more credibility with the public. So let's look at Jade Protocol, the most comprehensive look you've gotten yet. And remember, if you like information like subscribe or join our free Discord or consider being a patron as you get our buy alerts and find projects like this early. So without further ado, let's talk about Jade Protocol. So currently, what is the Jade Protocol? Jade Protocol is what they call a fair launch or a fair fork of the Olympus Ohm. The Fair Fork Foundation, now known as the Fair Launch Foundation, has a hypothesis, and that is, is we can have fairer launches for the public meant to keep in the spirit of cryptocurrency. And so they've taken several projects like this, like SmartCoin, which we'll look at in a second, and Jade Protocol is the second, and it is a fork of the Olympus Ohm DAO. They're a fork, and they promise crazy returns. It first came up on my radar because of the crazy returns. Let's look at it. So how crazy are these returns? Well, it used to be just a few days ago that the APY was a million. Now we're looking at a 2 billion APY. A week ago it was 3 billion APY and at one point it was a trillion and then it started waving real time and that created some shakiness. Now the Jade Protocol is on Binance. And the smart coin, uh, smart coin and smarter coin, they're on the Avalanche network, which is a really aggressive network, but they decided to launch the Jade protocol on the Binance network. So you're going to have to have the Binance chain connected to your MetaMask to do anything we're going to look at in the future. But between the Avalanche network with low fees and the Binance network with relatively low fees and high liquidity for both right now, I think they have actually put both these projects, both the smarter coin and the Jade protocol project on these platforms so that it made it much easier instead of building on Ethereum, as many of you know. And the Jade Protocol had an extremely shaky start. It started out with, like I said, crazy returns, and then you couldn't actually stake and unstake. And then the errors that came up on the page were very obtuse. I couldn't stake the Jade Protocol, but then you realized I had it to approve on my MetaMask and then stake. And then unstaking was not that easy. And then calculating your actual returns was very difficult and the bonding rates were jumping up and down that you could bond for 50% one day and then it was 5% the next. Very shaky start. A lot of us have a lot of resilience for things like this in the crypto space, but what was worse is we weren't getting any communications from the team about what was going on. There was not a lot of transparency and that was an additional red flag at the time. But I think a lot of this has turned around. I will go into this a little bit more in a second, but for the most part, a lot of these signals have begun to level off. The rates, though, extremely high at 2 billion percent returns on the rebases, which is insane. They have actually stabilized. They're not whipsawing around, and the five-day ROI rates are paying out pretty well. The communication from the Jade Protocol team, as well as the Smarter team and the Fair Fork Foundation, specifically in their Discord, but also in their Telegram and in their Twitter, has been very active. Let's actually look at a few different places where they're communicating and where we're seeing a lot of credibility building. The first thing I noticed that was actually very useful was down here. We've got incubated by the Fair Fork Foundation, but also interviewed by the Rug Doc. And Rug Doc is building a little bit of credibility as to whether or not you can use it to trust whether or not something is being rugged. If you read this, and I encourage you that you read it, but long story short, individuals, real life individuals at RugDoc interviewed developers and owners with Jade Protocol and actually saw their passport, saw their identity, did a know your customer between the two of them, though they're not revealing that to us because right now the developers are still going stealth specifically for the Jade Protocol. The Smarter team is accessible and the Jade Protocol team is accessible, but they're still keeping, one of the two founders is still keeping their identity hidden. But they did interview the developers. They did look at their passports. They asked them and they verified whether or not they are the sole owners of the developer wallet. And they said, yes. So is that saying that this is 100% going to succeed? Of course not. It's just a little more trustworthy. Then if you look at the Twitter account for Jade Protocol has 18,000 followers, which is respectable and growing. And their communications aren't just self-hype. There's some good industry reporting. There's some authority building. There's some sharing of other people's material. And then of course they are hyping where they're at right now, but also talking about their APY, talking about their mechanics. So they they are actually getting involved in the community more than just self-hype. Then if you look at their sister company or the initial project from the Fair Fork Foundation, SmartCoin, they have 31,000 followers followed by a lot of people I follow, including Ty Lopez, crypto enthusiast, 
Obviously, Jade Protocol, good people like that are following. It's starting to gain some steam. We really like the tone and communication of this. And this is where a lot of the communication of the both the Docs founder and the anonymous founder, this is where a lot of their communications are happening. Kevin and Einstein in the Discord. They're communicating a lot, obviously a lot of memes, but they're also talking about a lot of technicals with what's going on with the smart coin. The smart coin is the basis of a lot of what's going on with the Fair Fork Foundation. And honestly, you'll probably see a buy alert coming from me to the patrons into the crypto mastermind group in the Discord very soon about smart coin and smarter coin because there are a lot of good mechanics. There's not a lot about Jade Protocol and coin market cap that you can check that out. There is some stuff going on with smart coin. There is another smart coin and it has a different symbol. This is the SMRT ticker symbol and it is in the toilet. If you actually look at this chart, it rallied really high when it first launched and now it's been relatively flat since then. That's something to pay attention to and we also want to watch the smarter coin to see how it's going to operate. So the market mechanics were not very encouraging necessarily for smart coin. But remember, when it comes to protocols like Jade Protocol and Wonderland, we're really not thinking of this as a long-term investment. This isn't the Ford investment or a blue chip investment. This isn't Bitcoin or Ethereum or Cardano or Ripple where you're buying and holding for a long term. You're trying to get your APY until the thing actually delivers over a year or until the thing tanks entirely. So we have to remember, even though meme coins and shit coins like Shiba Inu and stuff can feel like junk and you're just trying to make a quick return on that, and then stable coins, 20% a year and 60% a year, those seem very calm and normal. When it looks like, when we look at Wonderland, we think, oh man, this is the new norm. 87,000% a year is the new norm. And then we look at Jade Protocol and 2 billion percent a year right now, and that's been stable over the last two days or so, two, two or three days. It's dipped as low as a million percent return, but that's not bad. That's become the new norm. We expect a high return, but we also expect a high amount of risk. So I'm not necessarily looking at the technical charts and giving that much credibility or much weight. I just always want to make sure I look so I understand what's going on. These sorts of charts would really come into play as I'm looking at more stable investments, dollar cost averaging, reliable, what I would call blue chip or stable coin investments in other areas of the market. But let's continue. If you look at the smartcoin.farm website, it is a farm. The yield is going up an insane amount. You can do liquidity pools. Again, we'll do another video on this later. But as I was comparing the Jade Protocol website to the SmartCoin website, they have a very reliable interface and you've been able to get money in and out. And then, of course, I spent forever going through Reddit and going through hours of video on Ask Me Anythings in the Telegram and Ask uh, Me Anythings on the Discord. And it seems like the communication pattern from the development team is very positive very affirmative and showing me some green flags that yes, they're trying to establish some credibility. Doesn't mean it's gonna 100% succeed. It just means it gives it a little more credibility in my mind. Along with that, they've done airdrops for those who saw the shakiness in the early days of Jade Protocol, for those who held diamond hands and kept holding without just selling and bailing, they actually did airdrops that are pretty interesting and you can actually see this right on the Jade Protocol. Right here, they have a whole function for airdrops. And if you jump over to airdrops, if you were holding diamond hands at the time, I got in just after the snapshot window. A lot of us in the Discord got in literally hours after the snapshots. We know plenty of people who were holding on to Jade Protocol through the ups and downs, and they were able to claim diamond hands, double diamonds, dragon hands, and wrecked hands. People who really took a hit when the APY was going up and down and when people couldn't withdraw their funds and some people could withdraw their funds and when it really got shaky, they did some airdrops to make up for that. I find that's a huge credibility builder. Along with that, the Fair Launch Foundation has a very solid roadmap of intertwining smart coins, smarter coin, Jade Protocol, and future forks together to create an ecosystem of what they call Fair Forks. They're all meant to work together in cohesion. So while they're working on the smart coin and the smarter coin and that yield farming protocol and establishing the smart coin as a good token, they're also now getting Jade up and running and trying to stabilize that protocol and create confidence in the users pay back healthy returns as long as they can, and then maybe they can move down the roadmap. So we've seen that this has begun to stabilize in a huge way. And I saw these things and I thought, you know what? I'm going to jump in. We've got some people in our Discord that have 
you know, a good moon bag of Jade Protocol. I have just a little bit. We're going to show you what we're doing. And as soon as my current experiment pays out, we're looking at increasing our investment in Jade Protocol over the next coming weeks. But let's take a look at this real quick. So if you want to go ahead and get a hold of Jade where you're staking and bonding is just like the minting process at Wonderland. And you're probably familiar with bonding from the Olympus Ohm and other Ohm forks. But it starts with somewhere. I'm in Binance.us because I'm in the United States. Sometimes I use a VPN to acquire what I need. I went ahead and acquired some um, Binance tokens, if you don't already have them, or wherever you get Binance tokens, go ahead and acquire them. Then jump over to PancakeSwap. Now, you want to look at two things. If you're just going to stake, and staking is paying out really well right now. Let's look at staking. If we look at staking is paying out really well at 26% five-day ROI, that's probably because the Jade price is up right now. When the Jade price is down, everyone screams rug pull, and this number goes down significantly. But you can see that on just a $520 investment, I'm pulling $24 a day and compounding with each rebase, which is awesome. But I'm also bonding. In my bond, I'm bonding with the Binance USD or the BUSD bond. And it's paying out a healthy rate. The BUSD rate is paying out 33% on top over a five-day period, and I have some to claim, which we'll claim in a second. So you're going to want to get some Binance tokens, but at PancakeSwap, you want, you'll need some Jade to stake at minimum. If you're just going to stake at minimum, you're going to need some Jade. So if you go in here and you type in Jade, you're not going to find it. So this is how you actually find the Jade contract. Go to the Jade page and click on Docs. You right-click or click on Docs, and it'll bring up the Docs. Click contracts and it'll bring up the contract addresses. And then you just highlight the Jade token right there. Go to Pancake Swap and instead of typing in Jade, paste Jade, and it will find it. Import it. Yes, I understand. I went through several of these before and they've kicked some fake Jade tokens out. You want to make sure that you always double check the address for the Jade token, at least until it starts getting established. And then you put however much Binance you have and buy however much Jade. But here's the thing, I don't recommend you do max if you're going to bond. If you're just staking for now, which is the safest play with Jade of the risky plays, staking is the safest play. Go ahead and pull out however much Jade you and then swap it. You might have to do this once or twice. You might have to play with the slippage, but not that much. I just was playing with Ava Pay and my slippage was all the way up to 15%, which was brutal. But you shouldn't have to do too much of that. Go ahead and purchase your Jade or swap for your Jade. And then you're gonna wanna end up on your staked page. So you'll your MetaMask is connected. Hopefully your MetaMask is connected with the Binance Smart Chain. If you need directions on how to add the Binance Smart Chain to your MetaMask, go ahead and ask in the comments. But once you're connected with the Binance Smart Chain in your MetaMask, you should just be able to then stake your Jade. Now, again, all of my Jade is currently staked. I haven't purchased more. But you will click stake and you might get an error. Never fear. The first time that you stake Jade, you have to give your MetaMask permission. So you should get a dialog box that pops up from MetaMask that says approve. You'll pay a little bit of a Binance fee. So you're going to want to leave some Binance in your MetaMask to make sure that you have what you need to do all of your little tiny exchanges or your tiny fees. So you're going to click it once and you're going to approve it. You might get an error and the dialog box doesn't appear. Don't worry. Refresh. And then try it again and then you'll get a dialog box and it'll say approve and you'll approve it. Once it approves, then set the amount max or the amount that of Jade you want to stake, click stake, and you're off to the races. That's it. You're staking. How do you unstake? You simply go to unstake, click max, and it's going to fill all of my S Jade because when you stake Jade, it's being staked as S Jade. So when you unstake it, you basically convert it from S Jade to Jade. So right now I've got that much S Jade. And right now Jade and S Jade are a one for one ratio. And you unstake it and it will end up back in your MetaMask. And let's just look at that. So real quick, I don't even have S Jade in here and I should add S Jade. So let's actually add S Jade to my MetaMask. Copy that. Go to MetaMask. And let's import a token. Let's add that. It already pre-fills SJade in the decimal tokens. Let's import those tokens. Fantastic. So you can see right now, I have no Jade, but I have that much SJade. It's that simple to unstake. And if I did click unstake right now, it would unstake my Jade. And I would see my SJade go down and my Jade would go up and I'd be ready to go. That's all you have to do to stake it. And now you're getting these sick returns. 
Will it change? It absolutely will change. This is 100% risk. So right now, if it's $583, almost $600, this is some of its all-time highs. That's awesome. But this might tank to like $300. That's not unrealistic. And then the APY tanks, and then this will go from earning $24 today to earning $10 a day. But on a $500 investment, that will also go down because the price of Jade will go down. You're still making sick, sick returns that are still beating Wonderland's returns. Now, I'm a big fan of Wonderland. I think it's completely credible. Not trading advice. It's just what I'm doing. But if that's credible, then if this goes down and is still pumping out these returns and then still whipsaws up and holds those high returns for a little while, I'm okay with that. So that's how you stake. And then very quickly, if you want to bond, if you're familiar with LP liquidity pools or if you're familiar with wrapped Binance or BUSD, you can acquire nearly all of this at PancakeSwap. So you can convert your BNB to Jade and get however much Jade. And as with any liquidity pool, you're going to have to do a one-for-one -one on the liquidity pool. But as it comes to BUSD, hey, how much do you want to actually bond? What is bonding? In general, you're getting a 33% discount. So right now, Jade is at $583. And you can now do a bond for a 33% discount for $438. Click bond, you stake your you stake your BUSD, which I have done. I basically had my MetaMask here and I staked some BUSD. I stuck it in here. And then it, over a five-day period, some of it becomes claimable. I begin to claim it. And then that will then be claimed as Jade. So then I can take that Jade and stake that new Jade and it will just compound absolutely aggressively. Let's do that right now. You're watching. We're going to claim it. I've got my BNB fees. I don't even care because my rate is so high. It's going to pend. My claim has not taken. My claimable is now zero. This is how much I have pending. I'm going to then go to my staking screen and refresh my staking screen. You can see now that the bonded amount has now converted to Jade. And then of course I want to stake that Jade. So I'm going to click max. I'm going to click stake Jade. Yes, I'm going to pay a, a, a small amount of fees. It's going to pend. While that's pending, fees are important to pay attention to. Right now, I'm staking enough that by claiming my bond and then paying the fee on claiming the bond and then staking that new jade and then paying the fee on staking that new jade, those fees are low enough that I don't worry about it. If you are staking and or bonding a lower amount, you're definitely going to want to be patient and maybe not claim and stake so quickly on so many cycles. I'm doing that to compound as quickly as possible. And I love of that growth. But I have enough staked right now. I'm, I'm just about over a jade worth right now. And it's compounding enough. That's worth it to me. It may or may not be worth it to you. So you want to make sure that you're calculating your fees so that you're not losing out too much on that. That's all there is. And if you look, the APY just jumped again. And the price is going down a little bit because we were seeing a higher price right now. I'm staked in at almost a full jade myself. I should probably just dump another grand or two in here, which I'm looking at doing, and milk these returns as much as I can. See if I can't continue to get sick bonding while the bonding is good. And for my strategy, if I am staked at a high amount, and if I am bonding a high amount, especially when the price is high, I am claiming those bonds despite the fees as soon as possible so that I have the stake compounding as soon as possible because this price might not hold. The price might drop to $300. And at that point, I might get liquidated because the price I bonded at, the price of Jade might go below the price that I bonded at. You got to be careful of that. And that's the risk with bonding. If I bonded at $441 or $406 at a 37% discount, but if the price of Jade drops to $350, I'm in the negative on my bond. Now I'm still accumulating Jade. I'm sure the price is going to whipsaw back up and it will be a decent dollar cost average in the end. But you need to do your own math. You need to do your own homework. You need to do your own research. So is Jade Protocol a rug pull? Don't think so. I think it's here. Will it fail? I don't know. I can't say. But I'm actually using it with some of my riskier dollars in my portfolio. This is how I'm doing it. You have every step you need and you've got the ins and outs of what's going on with Jade Protocol. If you like material like or subscribe, do consider joining our free Discord and definitely consider joining our Patreon as we give you insights to protocols like this, early buy alerts, watch lists, and access to our investment groups that come up for each of our financial experiments, which we'll be reporting on soon. But listen, no matter what you do today, remember the mission and remember why we do this.
to ignite lives of explosive significance, starting with your own. Have a great day.